Hey guys, my name is Sidney Egg and welcome back to another episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 where guys there's been a secret. You've probably seen it hundreds and billions of people do it anyway. But I want to check it out myself. There is now something pretty cool going down in Lumber Tycoon. They got like this new update out, which is uh, something to do with Bemus. Brilliant name. Hilarious. But there's a few little hints on Lumber Tycoon on where to get it. Uh, you know, what we have to do and stuff like that to get to it. And what not. And I thought it would be pretty cool to go check it out and see what is cracker lacking in this world now there's a few hints that we gotta do and you have to go to another different game to solve this puzzle for bemus to get a very special christmas axe christmas b axe which is quite cool I i'm quite excited for it i mean i don't think anybody knows what this christmas b axe or the, the, whatever it's the b i don't know i was gonna call it the b axe i don't think anybody knows what it does or what its powers are or we can have like a special tree uh, that we get to, um, you know, chop down maybe in the spring. I've already crashed on this. What's going on? Move this out of the way. How diddly dare you. But to get to this special place first, we're going to head to uh, near the entrance of the volcano. Because up here, there was like a honeycomb bee thing with bees shooting out. Now, none of this stuff that I've kind of seen before. But I've had a lot of people tell me what I need to do. And I've got a very special code written down in this piece of paper here, which you can't see. Because... <laughs> It's a green screen. It's a green post-it stamp. But there's a very special code on there that we have to type into another game to get the game pass or the game badge, whatever you want to call it, uh, for this game when the update comes out. You can kind of see just up there, there's like little things flying. Like, what is that? What's what, what's going on over here? So we're going to drive around the corner. It's here! There we go. I always drove past it. <laughs> so does that, this is this honeycomb thing here. It looks beautiful. I do like it. A lot of people are saying, um, uh, what's this here? Is, is there something to do with this here? Um, but the circle. Uh, personally, probably not. I don't think so. I mean, you could probably try resting an eye on there. I don't think anything will happen. The game's not that smart. But in an attempt to get more people playing, the fault here has tried to implement an update, which is so weird. Am I now stuck behind this? Can I get through? Am I stuck? I, I, I can't seem to move. GG, everybody. Your boy's now stuck. Right. Hoo, hoo. Ah, there we go. I got underneath it there. That's a bit intense there. So there's beautiful PNG bees shooting out with that yellow stroke around them. They look pretty cool, don't they? And then bees flying. Well, that's that's kind of like the first hint. And you're probably wondering, where are all these hints coming from? Like, is it just randomly here? No. The question is No. We kind of need to go over to another game to discover, like, the backstory to what is actually going on with this update. So, well, what you guys should do is head over to this next following game. So, the game in question is this one called Bemus Nuts and Bolts. Um, it's created by the first church of Bubbleism. It's weird, I know. It doesn't have many plays. But basically, we go into this and it gives us kind of a hint and a clue to what we need to do. It's kind of like a little mini advent calendar of unlocking stuff in awesome games. So basically, get into this game. There'll be a link in the, in the description anyway to check it out. But get into this game and it'll give you some pretty sweet clues. So once we're in this, this, this B game thing, it's a little bit weird. You can see there's like one all the way to number 10. Which is like, think of it like the 10 days of Christmas. I'm currently recording this on the 4th. That's where the 4th hint, the 4th of December, the 4th hint is unlocked. Now, I've already done the Lumber Tycoon one, the number 2 hint here, which is this, and you get a tree populate it. Now, I'll tell you what you need to do in just a moment, but just look at this. It was kind of cool, does not it? There's like a little car up there with tire marks. It's, it's, it's so weird. It's so weird. But what you want to do in here anyway, it says here, Making Beamus happen is tough and expensive work. Your donations go towards motivating me to make it happen next year. Right, sweet jester. It's the hint jester. It's basically saying, hint, hint, give me some, some cash money robux in there. <laughs> well, basically, click on him. And he goes, gift one hint. You know, I've always wondered what pastors keep under their podiums. And that's pretty much all he gives you for the first hint. Now, this first hint here, you can see that's a logo. And you kind of familiar. I've played this before. I've actually done a video on this. It's a game called Cleaning Simulator. All you got to do is jump in the Cleaning Simulator game. Go find the past days, like in the tall skyscraper. He has like a little sweet hot jams mixtape, and you get it, pull it into a stereo, and listen to it. 
and throughout listening to it, he gives you a code. Now, the code is long. It, it, it's, it's dreadful. It's tearful. It goes on and on and on and on. And it eventually gives you a code, which I've got written down, which I'll show you in just a moment. But if you zoom in right now, it says, Make like a tree and buzz off. So the first thing there is the volcano, which you go to the volcano, that's where you see the honeycomb. The second hint is to do with the uh, bridge. Now, the bridge has something very special there. It has like a weird number, which... We need to go check that out, don't we? Right, so back in Lumba Taiku, you need to head over to the bridge. And uh, it's don't lower the bridge. It's a lot easier not to lower the bridge. And you basically want to go to the first little bit here where, you know, you got like the weights that make the bridge go up and down that move. Underneath this, there was kind of like a little code in a beehive kind of shape. But go first person mode here. You can kind of see it. Yeah, there's a code right there. You kind of have to use this, put it with the other tape and whatnot, and it kind of generates you a code, which I've got written down anyway to show you. So that's where the other thing, the other hint for the bridge in that other game is on about. It's talking about this little beehive code here, which again, we use that, combine it with the tape that we listened to, the beehive of the tree, and we pretty much got a code. Pretty much got a code. So I've basically made it very easy for you guys to be able to do this. So then we want to head back into the other big game. <laughs> it's just so much back and forth. It's crazy. Enter the code. And then that should give you that little tree that you see on my little podium for the, the second hint. And also give you a game badge or pass. I think it's a badge. Which should technically then go on to give you the, the B axe when it comes out. Could be after the 10th day. Who knows? Nobody knows. If it does, who knows? It is a wild goose chase. You don't get any any anything on this game for free. There we go. So let's jump back into the other game. So we're back at the Beebus game then. And I've, you can see I've already done this. I've already got the tree in my little window here because I've already completed this. But again, you got the volcano, you got the bridge, and then the axe here. The axe in the wood. That's kind of hinting the fact that you're going to get a new axe. That's basically what that is simply doing. And what you want to do, then, again, is talk to the gesture once more. And you see here, behind me, it's kind of hard to see, it's behind me. Uh... You press the little yellow button. If I move out the way here, there you go. You can see it. Uh, I got the code, boy. And in here, you place in the following code. I got to make sure I get this correct because I always get this wrong. You type in 657 3542. Uh, now, I don't know if this it will come up saying I got it incorrect or anything like that because I've already put the code in. I've already got the tree in the window, as you've seen. But you press thumbs up. Because you already entered that code. I'm not giving you another gift. Nice try, though. But there you go. That is the code that you need to place in to get this tree here. It gives you a game badge as well. Just remember that it does give you a game badge. And then we have other hints as well, which are related to other different games. For example, this one here, it says behind you. And you click the, the switch. And it creates like a little mini parkour that you got to complete. Uh, this one here. Uh, it's got another code, which will be for eggs and stuff like that. These are all for different games. And uh, Lumber Tycoon is, what you know, a part of this game, which is quite, quite cool. But yeah, once you implement the code, we got the game badge. So at some point, it should unlock the BX. Nobody knows how they're going to get it. Nobody knows if it's going to exist. Uh, it's just another wild goose chase, another pointless update thrown in to, to Lumber Tycoon. But it's fun, though. I mean, it's got us all talking. It's got us all... Doing all this stuff. But also, not just that, guys. They've got new presents in Lumber Tycoon. And I want to go check them out. So let's go back. I know, I know I've know, been back and forth in so many games in my life. Let's jump back into Lumber Tycoon. And uh, we go check out these presents. So back in Lumber Tycoon, your boy's in his truck now. When I get out of here. So I know when it comes to the, the new presents in the game, I know what exists in terms of... All I know is there's there's two in the Woods Are Us. There's also one in the art store in the cave on the other island, which I probably won't get today. I'm not sure if there's any... Oh, she just said, she, uh, said hey, she, hello. I'm not sure if there's any, uh, any in the other stores across the bridge, but we could probably go check those out as well. But here we go. What's it say here? Let's check it. Uh, the gift of great times. I, I, I don't know what's inside of them. I do not know what is inside of them. So this is going to be a huge... Ex it's 12,000. I know it costs 12,000. 
But this is going to be, you know, a great excitement for me, boys. And then the, the, there's another one. There's another one here. Which, check, is the Wobbly Gift of High Confidence. Which, I can probably tell that's going to be like a bobblehead or something like that. Uh, they best not be like items that have been out in the past. I'd be great. This, this is the only thing that I don't know what's in. Is the presents. So this is a... Uh, this is new and exciting for your boy. Right, we got those two presents. Let's jump in the truck. Let's skedaddle out of here. And let's go back to... Um, or let's go back inside the base. And we'll open up the two presents. And I'm going to go check the other store on the other island. But I'm not going to go across the... Um, I'll get the boat across anyway. I'll save that for another time. But I just want to see what's in these presents. I mean, that yellow one costs 12000 So here we go. Stand you up, boy. Stand this one up, too. Right. Open. Oh, I can't open it. I've just realized I can't open it. Because you got to wait until it's Christmas. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. I was going to say then. No wonder I don't know anything about these. Because nobody knows what's inside of them. But I can already tell that uh, the smaller one is going to be like a bobblehead for your truck or something like that. You can just tell it's going to be that. Well, let's start to talk to Sir Nakin. I don't think there's any over there, but we'll double check anyway. Because there was last year. There was some last year, so you just never know. I know there's new paintings over, on, again, in the art gallery, the art shop in the cave. Uh, over the, you know, where, the, where Link's logic is. So I know that exists. And so guys, if you if you know of anything that could be in those presents that we just got, let me know in the comment section down below. I want to know what your thoughts are. I think the one's going to have a bubble head in. It's a, it says wobbly on the, on the name. And I'm not too sure what the 12,000 one's going to be. Uh, last year they had uh, those presents, the big ones. We had to get like a certain number. Uh, to, and then to unlock the Squidward painting, the bald and brash. So... Yeah. Oh, is, oh, no, 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 no. They have the same presents in here, don't they? Let me... No, no, these are different, aren't they? Uh, the the joyful uh, green gift of high-quality charm. I reckon that's going to be a statue, isn't it? High-quality charm. It's green. It could be like a three-leaf clover or something. Or four-leaf clover, sorry. But I do know they're very expensive. Guys, you got to buy these presents while they last. Because after Christmas, they're going to be gone. So that one's, that one's interesting. What's this one going to be then? Have they got rid of the fireworks? No, the fire, they've moved the fireworks over. So the golden gift of golden times. 122,000. It's a good job, job you boys got that kind of cash money moolah, isn't it? Also, I reckon they've made them so expensive because everybody's got like millions now because of the uh, the creative mode. Uh, that you can simply... They're just trying to make you buy and like spend your cash. That's what they're trying to do right now, isn't it? So we got two of those there. Any in here? None in there. There was the big ones in there last time, wasn't there? I think so. Uh, let's go check uh, the Outback Shack. See if anything there as well. Because I think there was the lump. You bought the lump of coal from there, wasn't it? I could be wrong. But it sounds right. So four new presents that we got so far. The fifth one is on the other island, which I'll get that another time. Don't worry about it. I'm not sure if there's any more or any, you know, anyone's in here. Let's find out. I don't think there is. No, there is not. What a cool shirt that dude's got. So, yeah, I think there's five all together. And I could be wrong. If any more guys, let me know. And if you have any ideas what they could be, again, let yeah, bye. No. But we can't open them. It's not Christmas yet, guys. It's not Christmas. Ah, sad times ahead. But we gotta wait. We gotta wait. I'm quite excited for it anyway. So let's get these presents back to the base. Man. Also, right, that one's 122,000. Let me know in the comments, right, how many of those have you bought? I mean, I got 3.6 million. I could buy a few more. I could, If I bought 10, that's 1.2 million. I like how it's got particles as well. That's kind of cool. I like the particle-ness that is going on. Right, coming through. Scares me. Right, driving in. Oh, completely missed the door. No, completely missed the door. Excuse me. One million miles an hour into the base. 
<laughs> That's funny. Right, we got the green one. We got the yellow one. <laughs> Bam. And I wish I could open each one. But we can't. There's still another one to get anyway. I'll get another time. But you can't open them anyway, which is... It's sad. It's sad. But I think that's what you're going to call it, guys, then. So it's quite the little uh, adventure trying to get the Beamers thing. Hopefully, you know, that does get us the axe. If it doesn't, then I just think it's trying... The game's trying to promote that other game also, Beamus. And maybe the axe could be in one of these boxes. And we just don't know about it yet. That would be quite interesting, quite smart. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, smash the like button down below if you're new and make sure you subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So... Good. Bye. Listen.